Even I get tired sometimes. Um, man, oh man, what a torrid pace we have kept up. Um, I just got an update. So Google does a maps thing where it tells you where you've been and where you've been you know, the last month or whatever. Two countries, 33 cities, and 114 places in 30 days. No wonder I'm a little groggy in the morning at the start of the next month. Uh, Lexington, obviously, five hours there, five hours back, and a little bit more stressful than I'm used to, even for me. You know, I take stress pretty good, but when, um, you know, we wake up in the morning, and my wife and I have three horses to race back to back to back consecutively in races four, five, and six, and by the way, we have our three children at the track with us, um, yeah, it can get a little stressful, so I think... The weekend maybe uh, played a ro played a role in my grogginess this morning, and then that was topped off by two hour trips to Bowling Green back and forth. Now I don't regret a second of it. Tired or not, I'll wake up. That's why God made Starbucks. Uh, I'm ready to rock right now, but it's it's a little bit of a, a sluggish beginning to the day. Had to drop Ollie off. <laughs> I had to drop Ollie off at baseball camp, and I did a video, and I got halfway through the video and uh, realized that I looked like a zombie. I was tired, I was groggy, I was slurring my words like I just had a stroke. I was tired. And um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't post a video like that. We couldn't do one last night, it was too dark. Um, it was too dark and, and to be honest, when would I have time to do it anyway? We had our kids with us. So I um, wanted to do one this morning. We had a great day yesterday in the spirit of the Olympics, we had four golds and three silvers yesterday, racing eight horses. That's seven out of eight in the top two yesterday in, uh, well, it was Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Ontario. So two countries, two states, one province. Um, we had uh, four wins, three seconds, and a sixth. I guess we'll get into running it down quickly. Compass Rose DC was six, but she always finds a way to get herself in a bad spot, right? Last week, Dave Pallone drove her fantastic. She was a winner in 55, and then this week, she ends up first over again. She needs to either get away fifth or first or second. She has a knack for getting away third or fourth. I can, I can tell you why, because when you come out of the gate with her, she feels like she's going to explode forward, and then she just hangs out for a step, which allows, which makes you as a driver look for plan B, which is usually dumping her in the three or four hole, which ends up with first over. So, um, just unfortunate circumstance with her yesterday, but man, she's been racing good. Finally got that decent mark. I think we can do better. 55 and two. I think we can do better with this, with this mare. We'll see as the year plays out. Uh, but yesterday she was relegated to six. Now to the good news of the day, uh, we'll start in, well, we'll stay right in Pennsylvania. Won my heart, Hanover. Just got picked off in 56 and 2. A great mile for her. Man, she's turned into a, a versatile little mare, a little filly. Uh, leave quick, just drop anchor, 28, 59, a mile and 56, and just got picked off. She's just got to finish off her supper a little bit better. But all in all, she was very good. And then we went over to the Ferris. Uh, you got a belief. Now that was a track record by a full second in a bit. He rolled off coming out of the turn. I don't really know why. I think that left stifle, he's getting sounder. He looks great. But that left stifle um, may be a little weak still. I would assume when he switches leads and comes out of the turn, maybe he touches himself. Uh, but that would be precipitated by the weakness in that stifle. I think if he could just power out of that turn. And tra plus the track was so taxing yesterday. Um, it's just a deep track, right? When you smash a 30-year-old tra 30 track record going in 205 in the middle of the week with a trotting filly, uh, in the middle of the summer with a trotting filly, just goes to show, I think that the, the Wood County Fair at Bowling Green is always deep. So um, you got to believe, made a break and still trotted four-fifths of a second faster than one to skip a few the day before. So nothing to, to thumb your nose at. The horse did okay. I think he still has a flat line in 45 days, which means he can race in Urbana next week, I believe. But either way, he'll be just fine. Then we went to the three pacers. All three were victorious. Now, who looked the best? I'll tell you who looked the best, Procrastinator. And it didn't get that way. At the start, he, he lost a shoe in the warm-up. There was a water truck and a, you know, and everything out there. A water truck and a, 
a tractor out there and a cement truck and a you know combine. They had everything out on the track while people are warming up, and it wasn't a lot of room. And rather than try and squeeze between people warming up, you never want to do that, between a water truck in the five wide path and people warming up on the inside, you always run the risk of the horse shying away. And the last thing you want to do is hit somebody head on. So I just went to the inside of the track, right to the inside. It wasn't like I just wheeled off the track. I just ging gingerly let him waltz off the track into the grass, into the center field. And I think as I did, he ripped a shoe off because I couldn't see it on the track. That only leaves one place it could be. So um, when I turned him to warm up, I was going by the half before I realized he didn't have a shoe on, but he was pacing so good in that deep surface. I just came in and pulled the other one off. We raced him barefoot at Wood County Fair. He raced good, yeah. Easy with the 28 1 first quarter. There's no way the laws of physics wouldn't allow you to be up there in 28 seconds. So um, I'm not doubting that the finality, the final time, was accurate, but I don't believe the first quarter was accurate. So, uh, but nevertheless, uh, procrastinator got a little tired on the end of it going through that deep footing, but man, he still raced good and looked really good. I think he gets a little green on the front end. Uh, I popped the earplugs coming out of the turn just to get him to pace on. He did kind of wander away a little bit, but man, oh man, you know, when we are looking at our two-year-olds that will be coming three, I really like what I see in procrastinator. He tries, you know, he tries so hard. This horse had just looked miserable in October, November, December, January, February, and then just started to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This horse at no point in the mile did his ears go anywhere but forward. He, he was having as much fun as I was yesterday. So a great mile by Procrastinator. Confederate Cruiser was a winner again and raced very, very good. Looked good, continues to be a very nice horse to drive and to be around. And that just left Luck of the Dragon. Second generation cranky bugger. Um, Fear of the Dragon, it was a dragon again. They're both cranky. And you know, he had to make him do his work the whole way, but two one over that track was a big mile. But this is a horse that could offer a lot more. Hopefully that win will shake him up now and he'll come forward the way we expect him to in the future. So a great day in Bowling Green. Do yourself a favor, all right? If you have a family or if you just have a slow summer, uh, I know a lot of people out there like uh, we, we joke and Greg likes to go on his boat out in the, you know, out wherever. Some people like to go boating. I'm not, I'm not a boating guy, but um, certainly don't begrudge people that are seems like a very fun activity if that's your thing um if you're around bowling green or it's not too far away and the weather's as nice as it was this year do yourself a favor and go to the wood county fair next year man it's much bigger than any of the fairs i've been to yet and it's clean it's nice the people are so nice it just I, 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 amy the fairs are growing on amy but she doesn't love them as much as i do I, I love the atmosphere and i can tell you why when i grew up as a kid in prince edward island one week out of the year was awesome. It was the best week every year, the best week of the year, and that was Old Home Week. The rides would come home, the carnival would be there, the place would be packed. It brings me back to home every time I go to one of these fairs, and it feels like home. So that is why um, I enjoy myself and I love going there so much. You know, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, uh, procrastinator, you could have you could have raced them from off the pace or, you know, not going so fast to them. Number one rule at the fair is stay out of trouble. <laughs> that's, that's your number one rule. Uh, the path of the very least resistance is the only way to go. So you're going to see me on the front. Well, I guess I do in the races too. You can blame it on that also. Um, the path of least resistance is the way to go to the fair. So um, do yourself a favor. Get out to the Wood County Fair. Go to any fair, really, in Ohio. Support all the, all the local communities also. It's very important especially as we're coming out of a pandemic. Uh, it's important to support those communities. But man, oh man, what a great two days. The weather was fantastic. The The people are always nice. The racing was good. Man, we had five wins a second. And uh, the other horse finish. Five wins in two seconds, I think. Yeah. We had five wins in two seconds. I think or four wins in two seconds. Four wins in two seconds and six starts at the Wood County Fair this year. Um, just great time to be had and I was very very happy unfortunately I guess fortunately for our family unfortunately for for me uh the border's kind of softening up on August 9th and if Oliver can rejoin his baseball team in Ontario Amy Oliver and Adeline will be heading home shortly thereafter the 9th now they'll come back and forth but they won't be here full time 
Ava has requested asylum in the country of the United States with me. She is going to stay with me in Ohio until school starts, and then she'll go back home. Now, I may have been tired today, but that trend will not stop in the next few days. I suspect some Red Bull will come into play. Columbus tonight. Got to drive down to Columbus this afternoon. We'll be racing Columbus tonight. Tomorrow, I have to get up in the morning, fly to Philadelphia at 8.30 in the morning, drive tie one on in the Sire Stakes. Um, you know, it's been a couple of years, I think, since it has been a couple of years since we had a real good horse in Pennsylvania. We had Lawmaker, White Tiger in back to back years, concurrent years, and then there was a gap. Ty went on as two to one going for 80,000 tomorrow. She looks like a legit contender in Pennsylvania, so that's awesome. Um, and then I get on a plane at 345, fly back to Sciota, race in Sciota until the 13th race. Here, at which time I will get in my car, drive home, and then Amy and I and the kids are off to Tioga, New York to visit Jeff Gorell's track in Tioga and race our girl, Bomb Hugger. So, uh, another action-packed week, and don't forget, we have tons of horses racing elsewhere also. Ontario, we get a lot of horses racing still. So, it's been a great summer. There's certainly no complaints, no complaints from me, um, as I said the other day. If you would have said to me that this summer would be this way, I would be thoroughly, thoroughly excited. Even almost as good as it is right now would be uh, would be a welcome surprise. We've been through a lot the last year, and uh, for, for everybody has. But uh, for us, the stable, for us to be able to come out swinging in 2021 the way we have has been extremely pleasing. So... Uh, I know a lot of people are asking us about the partnership we're looking to form in Ohio. What's going on with that? Where are you at with that? Where is that looking? I have made multiple videos. So this is what I've done with the partnership. I've made multiple videos. I want to make sure I get that the I want to get I want to make sure I get the finer points perfect when it comes to the to this partnership. So there's about three or four people I've been working with and asking, hey, does this sound right? Does that sound right? I've sent these videos out, videos out to three or four people and the feedback I get for them is structuring the way that we unpack this to you. This is going to be a, a very important project for the stable.ca in 2021 for a number of reasons, but I will have the final video for you ready within the next day or so. I'm really, really excited about it and can't wait to see how it unfolds. For now, I'm all done. I'm awake now, ready to rock. Thank you, Latte. I will talk to all of you very, very soon. I hope you've had a great two days because I can tell you what. I have, my family has, and the stable.ca has. Take care.